Hello guys and welcome to the wonderful world of Pez here with Londrina. We are going to be kicking off with the game against Brazil de Pelotas um, in today's episode. A couple of changes in the side, like you can see Safira is back, which is good to see. But some other changes have been made, as you can see as you work your way down through the list, whatever. Just due to players not necessarily being fully fit and also like obviously their form arrow is just slightly down. So that is why there's been some changes. Right then, let's get into this and see if we can get ourselves another three points. Here we are guys at the Estadio Bento Freight. It's like bento, ben, what's it, Frey bentos or something, pies or something, that sounds like, doesn't it, like, you know what I mean, but anyway, um, as we get into this game, we have got Brazil de Pelotas against Londrina, uh, Londrina coming off the win um, against Figueirense in the last outing, but this time they're on the they're on the road, and they travel to a side that they should be picking up points um, in, but you just never know, so... How will the home side fare and how will the away side fare? That's the whole point of playing these games, isn't it? Like, <laughs> right, knocked forward here. Here's Santos now down to Baggio. They've got a Baggio on their side as well. Being hounded there by Ramos. Played out again. Baggio gets that ball in. SS Mendy is back in the side. Just getting his head to that one. Alcaceri now. Played out here to Barbio. In to Safira. Nice turn. Played off. Alcaceri hits this. Oh, it's took a deflection and just wouldn't fall. The spin on the ball just took it away from Safira. I'm sure that's going to be a corner though. As this one comes in. Good effort. Good header. And yeah, it spins away and that's going to be a corner. Looks to go down the line to Safira. Lays it back inside. A little bit hard. Barbio though does well to hold it up. Played inside. Here's Safira. Into Joe. What can he do? It's got Alcaceri. It's nicely done. What can he do from here? He can put it wide. He's just got to get enough curl on this and he's beating the keeper. It's a nice little back heel in here. But yeah, again, another shot. Not on target. This is Mendy now. Here's Mascara. Milan. No, it's 0 0. It's been a frustrating first half for the. A wayside more than anything. They've been more of the attacking team, but they just haven't got the attempts on 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 target. If they had done, they could have been two or three nil up in this game. As you can see, six attempts, two on target, none from the home side. More of the possessions all come from Mangina. Very similar to the game that was held at the um, Estadio de Cafe, like when they played um, at home, Mangina. But it's what Brazil de Pelotas are. They're all about just trying to get any points they possibly can so they're just going to be a frustrating side to play against so second half then and no changes by either manager Milan wins it but goes straight back but Casule now score up building from the back Isas Mendy down the line Alcaceri just cuts this inside to Joe he finds Safira waits for the run it is here from Barbio, and can he get the shot away? He can. Lovely weighted play there from Safira. He wanted either him, with being Barbio or Joe, to make a run. He just played it into that area. Barbio gets one on target, and Londrina lead by a goal to nil. It's just lovely play there from Safira. Didn't rush it as it'll come into him here. He's got a bit of a cool head about him. Let's wait for the run. There's Barbio. Puts his arm up. Good strike. Keeper beaten. And there's a good ball out here to Douglas Baggio. Ryan Ramos ain't going to catch him anytime soon. It's a good ball in. It's a chance. Kasule gets this away to find Baggio. Oh, Caseri now. Just lays it back to Isas Mendy. Come on out. Played in to Baggio. Joe's wanting that. If he can get there. Baggio trying to win the header. Not going to happen. Casule does well. Gamano out here to Alcaceri. Inside. Finds Baggio. Looks to get Safira in. Chance. And. Oh. And eventually, yes. Well. He was waiting and waiting there, like, I mean, to see if the goalkeeper would make a move. Didn't do one, then he's it straight at him, which didn't help. And then eventually it came back to him and 
made a meal of that one as it is the bar and still goes in. I mean, Jesus. I was determined there, like, you know what I mean? But he was just in, he had time. See, just see with the key, and he hit it straight at him. I mean, bizarre, but anyway. It's in in the end, Safira back on the score sheet, and it's two goals to nil. Great ball through from Baggio as well. But this here is like trying to eye him up, wait, see if the goalkeeper would make a move, didn't make a move, hits it straight at him. <laughs> bizarre. But anyway, it's in there. Algaceri tries to find, but Safira is tightly marked. Oh, well done from Baggio, getting around the back there. Joe could do with getting on the action there, not able to. It's nicely played here. This is a good play from the home side. Gamano, not the best of touches there. But it doesn't matter, as that is a 2-0 victory away from home in a game that is just one of those frustrating games. But in the end, they managed to find the back of the net twice. Um, Brazil to Pelotas. Um, yeah, didn't really deserve anything out of that game. They're just an annoying team to play. Yeah, yeah, those sort of sides, you know what I mean, they're just a frustrating side. They, they, they know they're not good enough and they just sit back and they just, you know what I mean, just annoy you, like, you know what I mean, in, in the fact that they'll just get the little niggly tackles in and stuff like that just to throw you off, like, and they just, yeah, they're frustrating. You can't you can't play the game that you want to play, like, you know what I mean, but not to worry, it's three points done and out the way, like, you know what I mean, but, um, yeah, Figurant's 0-0 against Ponte Preta. we got um, um, Vittoria... Um, continuing their winning ways with a win over Salbento Piranha back to winning ways against Guarani filling over the 4-1 win over Operario CLB back winning ways against Chris Eubank no that's not Chris Eubank that's um, Cuaba um, I've got two Chris Eubanks now um, and then we got West Botafogo beating them 1-0 we've got America Minera with a 4-0 win over Bragantino Atletico Go with a win over Chris Eubank this time and then Sport Recife um, there we are against Corati but wow there we go, our lads um, Sport Recife beating the top team in the league by two goals to nil and they were away at the time as well, so that's a, a good win and a bit of a blow, but that'll help Vittoria because I think Vittoria now gone top. And yes, they have um, a three point gap there, like sort of thing, Minero have now gained um, on Coritiba and so have we, um, so yeah, looking good. And the next team that we are up against is Let's Go Go, I think it is. Um, if I remember, um, and they are in down in 13th, only got eight wins to the name. Okay, guys, you join us here at the Estadio de Cafe with Laundry and a take on Atletico Go. Home fans will be a little slightly disappointed that the captain, Gamano, won't be starting in today's game. Um, not feeling the best, a little bit under the weather, so he will not be starting. But Helder has also just picked up the trait of um, sort of like leadership and stuff, so he's going to be taking the armband for this afternoon. So hopefully it won't affect the team too badly as Alison Safira gets things off and running here. So after a 2-0 win away from home against um, Brazil de Palatas, um, the home team will be, or the home fans I should say, will be hoping that they can kick on from that and get another three points here this afternoon as, as Barbio gets this one in. And Joe is a great opportunity and he's back on the score sheet and he's needed that. He's missed a few games now and that will massively boost his confidence. Good to see. Home fans buzzing with their new sort of talisman, their new number nine, as it were. Like, you know, even though he doesn't wear the number nine, but you know what I mean. A good ball here. Held the captain actually getting involved. Here we go. And Barbio just picks him out nicely, takes control of it, superb, and slots it in the bottom corner. And straight away, a let's go go or on the back foot. As you can see here, just played into him. It's a lovely little touch there. Just takes him away from the centre back, which gives him enough space and drills that one into the bottom corner. Well done, Joe. Here's Oliveira in to Alcaceri. Tries to find his Asmendi, not able to. Oliveira forward. Alcaceri. Now Safira in. Joe. Surely two. No. And he's he taken out there. Well, mm, home fans thinking so. He was taken out after the fact. Referee decided, no, nope, I'm not going to call it back. Here's Vichatio. Gilvan now. Plays forward. Mascara. Algoceri. Trying to get this ball under control. Does do. Lays it out here to Isas Mendy. This goes back to Mascara. There's Kasule now. 
forward. Here's Barbio. What can he do from here? Goes for this one. Oh, not a bad effort. Uh, so Lucas grabs all of that. It's a good effort there from the winger. Bustamante now knocks it forward. Silva gets up for this one. It's fallen nicely to Casule. Casule's um, definitely made that sort of midfield position kind of his own recently. Barbio now into Safira. Good turn. Can you get the shot away? Oh, what a super finish. What a finish. Roberto Carlos chuffed a bit for that one. And this is Andrina playing at their best right now. Thought with Gamano being out, it might have had an effect, but I think it just helped the fact that Helder had just received the trait for sort of like leadership, like qualities that um, it's not affected the team too much. And as you can see, they are now 2-0 up oh, as a lovely little ball in. It's this ball here. He takes, takes it away again, but just gets his foot wrapped round it, right in the top corner, keeper no chance. Well done, Safira. Player of the season for me. Here's Gilvan. Oliveira now. Aces across to Reginaldo, goes along with it. Well read by Augusto Silva. Here's Casule. Oliveira now can push forward. Played out. It's Asmendi now. He used to get this into to Algaceri. Can he get it through? He can't. Well blocked. Back here to Reginaldo. Joe's going to come across, try and hound him. Bustamante. Looks to maybe try and get down the line, but he's being hounded here by two Londrina players, but he managed to somehow get that out of there. His Vaisa goes along with it. Silva should win that. Does do. Edison Jr. just claiming that he was manhandled. Referee says get up. Helder now. Goes to go long in towards Joe. Can he get on it? He can't. It's going to fall here to Oliveira. Hits it first time. It's Asmendi. Back into Algaceri now. Goes to the ball over the top. Safira, can he get on that? He can't. It's a nice idea. Bustamante being pressured here. A lot of pressure coming from the home team. Roberto Carlos will be happy with that. Casule now. Played out here. Here's Oliveira to Casule. Played in to Safira. And Joe, maybe. No, wasn't just right for him. Ah, no real. There's a foul. Thought Algaciri timed it right, and it's actually going to be a yellow card for him. Don't want to argue with it. You know what I mean? It's Casule trying to plead innocent that he took the ball, but as you can see here. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Could say it was a soft one, but referee has decided, and that's what it is. Reginaldo, no. We'll push this one forward. Silva trying to win that one. Oliveira trying to win it, and he's actually put it in the place, or the path, I should say, of the attacker. This has been the calm and casual there to get it forward to Casule. Barbu is wanting this, but Casule is able to just keep going with this. Now barbu has got it. And what can he do from here? Has a go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. What are the players looking at him to say, like, what was that? I think he, he must have seen something, but he just didn't execute it well enough. Trying to win that one. Here's Esmendi. Gets hold of it. Here's Mosquera. And they don't want to close Casule down. He always seems to have like time to run. It's a nice little ball inside. Joe now. Little ball forward. Safira. Oh, and he's just offside. That's a shame. Oh, when I say just, he's quite way offside. But it was a nice idea from Joe. And that is half time. So there we go, two goals to nil. I'm sure Roberto Carlos would be pleased about that. Maybe maybe he's slightly displeased that he's only 2-0 up. There should have maybe been a few more goals in there, but hey, we'll take that. 60% possession, six goals, four of them on target. That's the more figure that he's more concerned about is those ones on me on target, and that's much better. So the second half then, let's go go to get things off and running. No changes by either side. As Gilvan goes along with this one. 
Can he get a good ball in? It's not bad. Joe's at the far stick, but couldn't get it down. I think it may even be a corner he's trying to claim. Uh, but no, referee says it came off him. Silver wins that one. Here's Safira. Into Algaceri. Joe is wanting that one. It's not bad, but Gilvan's there, or is he? Joe gets in. A mistake from the defender. Joe gets his second. He's going to be loving that one. Lovely ball through to find him. It's picked up here. Algaceri sees them making the run. Plays it over. Defender thinks he's got it, but Joe just gets a foot ahead of him. Nicely taken down. Nice control. Goalkeeper's now like panicking because he thought the defender had it. But as you can see here, just gets ahead of the defender. Keeper has to come out. Joe says thank you very much. And that's his second of the afternoon or evening. Mraz. The player's getting tired now, you can see. Oliveira over the top. Silva wins that one, but it's not falling nicely or kindly. And it's a late challenge, but play's continued. It's a great opportunity here. Good save again. Marty is determined to get this clean sheet. Got to be careful. Got to be very careful there. Miss Osmendi goes long, gets rid of it. Helder moved over to the left-hand side. By Ramos, obviously, in his normal, natural right-back position. It's a good ball out here. Miss Osmendi, um, Algaceri, I should say. There's a great opportunity here. If it would just fall to the right player and it wouldn't fall to it, the game just locks onto the wrong player. So that's it is frustrating. And you see the pass or whatever, yet the game doesn't lock onto the player you want it to go to. Algaceri back inside, finds Geraldo. Casule now. Here is Oliveira. Played inside, Joe Hattrick, oh, straight at the keeper though. Nice idea to hit it first time. Kasule, has he won that? He has, Joe, ah. Uh, things don't, don't go right, but there we are. Three nil, it's just when you get like that, ah, oh, get the ball through and it just doesn't go in the right place. So, but anyway, can't complain. Three nil, good performance. Could have been a lot more to be honest. Joe could have had his hat-trick. Great performance, and it's good to see him back on the score sheet. And there we go. I mean, 11 shots, 7 on target. That is much better. Much better. Um, whether that's because... I don't know. Maybe we can play Helder now instead of Gamano. It's not It's not um, much of an issue because they played all right in that one. So that's good. Joe will get man of the match. Uh, Barbier gets 7.5 as well. So, there we go, guys. Convincing enough win. Should have been a lot more, to be fair, like, you know what I mean? But, yeah, just the fact that Gamano, he, he was on a downward arrow, and I thought, oh, no, here we go again, like, you know what I mean? I'm going to end up with a bad... But, luckily, you've got an email just coming through saying that Helder had just moved up to, like, the leadership thing or whatever, you know what I mean? Which was great. Um, it didn't really affect it. All it did is it made us have a team spirit of from 80 to 79, which is brilliant, like, you know what I mean? Um, and, as you can see, the players played well, like, so that's a good thing to know because I was tempted to maybe sell Helder but maybe maybe I shouldn't like because just because of that like you know what I mean um, and keep hold of him and um, yeah I think that's what probably we'll have to do like you know what I mean um, in, in that respect but anyway Ponte Preta um, 2 nil winners over the team that we just beat Brazil to Pelotas in the last game so I've been to down 2-0 to Figueirense Guarani 4-1 against Vitoria wow that is a shock result a massively shock result that one. Piranha there um, with a 1 0 away win against Operario. We've got Villanova beating Coava. We've got Botafogo beating CRB. West beating Bragatino. Sport Recifo with a 2 2 against America Minera. We could move up here, I think. And Coritiba have lost to Chris Eubank. Well, this is going to be looking like a weird league table. Yes, it is indeed. We are in third spot. Wow, this is absolutely nuts. Um, what is happening when the when the top teams get into that position? They suddenly like start losing games. Um, crazy, absolutely crazy. Um, we've got Coritiba in the next game. Wow, what a big episode tomorrow is going to be. Oh, do or die decider. What is this? We've got a skip. Uh, a skip. We've got, uh, we've got with so many, with so few remaining matches. What's going to be Londrina's approach as you enter the final stage of the season? 
Okay, um, we will win all the matches. No, we can't say that. We're focused on the match in front of us. We're looking to play it smart. What does that mean? We're looking to play it smart. I think we're just focused on the match that's like in front of us. I think that's the best way of... Um, the moment you start looking behind is the moment you slip up. We'll take each match as it comes. Yeah, I would say that. I would have said that as well. So Roberto Carlos um, saying that. I don't understand why here... It's a cutscene. I've got all the like sponsors. In fact, the sponsors disappear. I've just noticed that. I've just no. How long have they been missing? I've just noticed that these are missing. Like, you know what I mean? It must have been. When have they disappeared? I haven't loaded a new option file. But I'm just wondering how long these, you know what I'm on about, the sponsor things, they've disappeared, like, you know? Because I was thinking, why are they not on the backboard or whatever? None of you picked it out as well, none of you pointed it out, but then no, neither did I, did I, like, you know what I mean? But yeah, I need to sort out these official partner things, because I don't know how long it's been like that, that's bizarre. Um, I think it's because we've not had any cutscenes for so long, you know what I mean? That's the thing. And that's that done. But there we go, guys. If you enjoyed today's episode, slap one of those on it. That'd be awesome. And, and tell all your friends about it. If you're new to the channel, why not you subscribe? You know, it's, it's fun here. We've got some football manager stuff going to be coming very, very, very soon as well. I'm really looking forward to that and getting my teeth into that. Um, yeah, thanks so much for, for tuning in as always, guys. I can't believe that we're in a position now where we could possibly get promoted. I was going to look at um, how many games we had left. We've got Coratiba, we've got Chris Eubank, and then on the final game of the season, what a game it is, it's against all oh, Sport Recife, so there we go. But anyway guys, I'm Rabbiton, I'll catch you on the next episode, which is tomorrow, and it's a big one. It could see us, it could see us get promoted, we've got two huge games in tomorrow's episode, guys. Please stay tuned for that one, that'd be awesome, well not stay tuned, but tune in for it, you know what I mean? And I'll catch you tomorrow, and see if we can get ourselves promoted. Couldn't, couldn't even dream of saying that like you know a few few episodes back like you know what i mean when when um really struggling but it's things have like clicked and the team are playing really well take it easy guys catch you in the next one day from milner gaming signing off cheers